Joe Phyllis on from CollegeFitness.com and I got contacted by a company called Evo Flower which focuses mainly on the equipment for home gym and they sent me this uh, super durable pull-up bar that should have a capacity of uh, 200 kg they sent me to make an honest review of it and to show you some exercises that you can actually do on it so hopefully this video will help you to decide if you should buy it or not also if you stick around till the end of the video you will also get a cell code or maybe it will be in the middle of the video so that you don't just skip to the end of the video so stick around okay so you basically in the package you get the pull up bar you have here how to tie it how to loosen it and that you should should take us in a photo uh, so it's basically my first ever like uh, big collaboration so i'm really excited for it and we actually can compare more pull up bars because we already had here the review of the door frame pull up bar basically the classic one but it was from wish so we can't really take that uh, seriously i also have this pull up bar that i'm currently using uh, that i'm actually using basically from the beginning uh, what i don't like about this pull up bar is that it's multi grip so limits you to do certain exercises also uh, you can't really do muscle uh, because it is in the door frame so it would fall with you with more dynamic movements and also on my up you usually put your hands here so when I put uh, rings on it I need to put it out and uh, back when I want to move it a little bit so this should be fixed with this pull bar after like five years I'm gonna put this pull bar down Okay, make sure that you tie this uh, middle part hard enough because I didn't and it slipped a little bit. But basically, if we do the hang again, it's alright. Uh, so, I got several things that I want to try in this pull up bar. So we will do just basic pull ups. Uh, then bite the pull-ups to check the capacity a little bit but I cannot lift that much to uh, have the 200 kg but uh, at least some added weight and then I also asked them if you can actually do a muscle up on the bar I cannot do a muscle up yet but uh, that's something that I want to try uh, I also talked with Daniel Kagamov uh, who is another Evolve Over ambassador and uh, he's a pretty big guy and he said that he wouldn't really try the muscle up on the bar, uh, but I'm not that heavy guy, so we can try it for me. And then we will do some other exercises to fill it up to have full body workout that you can do at home with this pull up bar. Or what I did notice is that uh, this sticker says uh, tighter and loosen, and it's actually the other way around. So that's something that you all should take care of. Okay, so let's try first the normal pull ups. Quick tip guide on pull ups. Uh, starting position is in the end. First move that you do is like this. Then you pull, then you go back to the hang position. Then to you. Like this. Uh, let's move on to the mic lighted pull ups. Let's do a break. Okay, so let's see if I, a non muscle upper, can do a muscle up on this bar. I guess first let's just try this little bit hanging on the bar. <laughs> I guess it's too high. Let's try to actually put it a little bit down. But first, let's try rings on. If you're not using rings and you're not complete beginner, I don't know what you're doing. Rings are one of the, if not the, uh, best calisthenics equipment that you can ever get. So, let's do one exercise on triceps. And let's do one on biceps too. Now, let's say you want to do inverted throws or maybe the front dips. So how fast can you actually move this to somewhere around this? 
I saw this question a lot in on videos from other ambassadors and I was actually curious too, so let's see how fast can a newbie to this pull bar like me uh, move it. So let's start the clock now. Yeah, it's a little bit harder to do it than one person, but I think you'll manage. I managed to. So now we just tighten it completely. It's a workout even to uh, tighten the uh, pillow bar, so that's one plus actually, not minus. Uh, so now we put this, we put this and stop the clock. So now it should be set. Is step like this? Oh yeah. Then you want to put your chest up. Head around your back, loosen the arms to have it have them straight, and then with the back, you want to pull and slowly down, pull and slowly. When you get down here, you would want also to hit the shoulders a little bit more. So for that, we can do the bike push-ups with the legs on the bar. So there we got it, guys. Easy full body workout. Oh, we forgot about your legs, but who doesn't? Uh, uh, we, we can do squats, right? Right, we can do squats. But before we go on the squats, let's take a little bit summary. If you should buy this bar, and which bar is actually the best from the ones that we already tried? I would say probably the only non-comfortable thing about this bar is that you cannot do white pull-ups, which is something that I said in the beginning. I actually don't know if you can put your hands on this or not. I will probably ask you all for you and I will write it in the comments. Oh hey, it's good morning. Uh, I got an answer from Evil and they said that you actually can do pull ups on these. So let's try it. Hold. So I think it's good. Now, if it's better than the, uh, yeah, we can say other wish pull-up bar or the classic doorway pull-up bar, I would say definitely, uh, because it, you don't need to use any screws or drills. You, uh, it uses a gravity tightening, which means that uh, more you pull, the more stable it will be. So you don't need to worry about uh, falling or anything else. Just put it into your doorway. It's also great for student dormitories because usually there you're not really allowed to drill into the doors. Uh, well, I did it anyway, but <laughs> you're usually not allowed to. Uh, this is better than the wish one. Another question is if it's better than this one. Basically, if this will be my new pull-up bar that I will be using. It's a harder question uh, because on this pull-up bar, you can do also the right pull-ups, you can do close grip pull-ups, you can do also the smoothie grips one, which I said that I don't really like. However, sometimes I do. Yeah, I would say it will be my new pull-up bar, because you can move the rings there, uh, you don't have the multi-grip there properly, you can even try to do the muscle-up there, however, I don't. I can't do any muscle-up, so I couldn't test that that much. I would say it's the best doorway pull-up bar that you can get. 
And it's not just because we are collaborating. If you decide to buy this bar, Evolve also gave me a sale coupon that you can use for 10% of your purchase and you will also support this channel this way. Uh, the code is on the screen right now. You just type in Kalis Fitness on the checkout and you get 10% off. Uh, so if I had to give it a point system, I think I would give it solid 10 out of 10 because I don't really have anything bad to say about it. Uh, just the first setting up was really tough. But after that, uh, when you already get kind of the line that you need, to move it like lower or higher, it's not that hard. Uh, so to sum it up, it's a great pull-up bar. If you want to get really safe pull-up bar, you can get this one. Use the sale coupon Callis Fitness and see you on the next trade.